Hello and welcome to Razaki 3D. It has been a long time since I last recorded and uploaded a video on this channel, but thank you very much for the support that you've been giving me by subscribing, liking videos and also commenting. I really much appreciate that. Now today we're going to talk about how to set up your SDF 3D application on your Android phone. It's not a very hard thing. And we're also going to talk about how to um, we're also going to talk about how to set up the pro version. I'll be talking about the free features and the pro features that you can find on SDF 3D and I hope that you get to like the application and join the cult of those people who model 3D uh, items on their phones or their Android devices. So with no further ado, we're just going to download the application right now. So I will access my Google Play Store. And I'm just going to search SDF3D. I'll type in there SDF3D, and you can see it's uh, among my first results here because I've been using this application for so long and I've actually been searching for it online using my Google account. So, with no further ado, let's just go through to it. So, SDF3D was made by Automide Group. And they have a YouTube channel which is called, uh, oh, sorry about that noise, baby crying in the background, it's just in the neighborhood. Anyway, so SDF3D has got a YouTube channel where they upload their stuff, such as this cool video where they illustrate their features. And you can also get to see this nice robot arm there, this city image and the coffee maker with the coffee mug there. I like this spacecraft as well. And the box with the wedding ring, the watch, the gun here, the bangles, if I'm not wrong about that. So their YouTube channel is uh, called Show Real Productions. You can actually just head over there and see the things they upload there. So we're going to have a look at the features of this app. And uh, so I bought the app, Soft Edge Modeling, Your Imagination in 3D. And I will just vouch for soft edge modeling because of the way the functions on SDF 3D are. And if you look at this app, you'll actually realize that the screenshots have got some soft edges. And when you open this app for the first time, every time you're launching it, anytime you open a new project, you'd see that uh, the first object in the middle of your viewport, in the middle of your user interface, rather, is a subdivided cube, which is in the form of a sphere. So SDF3D actually have been using this subdivision function to make your application uh, work sustainably on your phone to model highly detailed models or soft edge models that look quite neat while minimizing the number of vertices which is really demanding on the RAM of your phone or any software or any device that you're using to do your 3D modeling. And for anyone who's done this for a long time, will actually realize that it is a very crucial thing. So kudos to SDF 3D app. I mean, kudos to Awesome Group for coming up with this beautiful application for your Android modeling. So I'm just going to scroll all the way to the features. And uh, okay, so we're just going to look at the features before I download this app. Okay, so it's a productivity app. So let's see what happens after we load the information on this app. Okay. Oh yeah, that little arrow there. So about this app, SDF3D is a soft edge modeling application and it turns your imagination into 3D. And uh, so soft edge modeling technology is a great new tool for creative modeling, architecture, ergonomic uh, items, furniture designs, toys, jewelry, decorative elements, game design, industrial concept works, aviation, automotive industry, and many other designs. And uh, goes all the way to the end. So if you want to know more about them, you can read on www.show-real.com. 
and you can also look for the user manual on their so on their website so the, the app info that we've got we, you can actually see that it has had more than half a million uh, downloads since it was updated I think and it has a size of 5.57 MB it has in a purchases which range between 500 shillings if you're in Kenya to 1600 shillings per item or five dollars or 1.6 dollars uh, five dollars or 10.6 dollars if you're in the USA and uh, so let's have a look at the app permissions that we've got here so it only has access to your Google pay to your Google pay uh, uh, play billing service and also your photos uh, media and files and the contents are always saved on your SD card I think that's too much information for now no one ever goes to have a look at that right so what's new is just a bug fix and the version that we're going to be downloading right now is 4.0.1 so we're gonna go back to the download at uh, the install section and I'll type install and I'll just accept all the permissions requested and I'm gonna give it a moment to download there we go it is now installing Perfect. Now that we have installed SDF 3D on our phone, I can choose to open directly or go home. And I'm torn between two. <laughs> okay, to open or not to open directly on Google Play Store. So we're just going to go home and tap on the SDF 3D or sub deformer icon. And so it says check for update. This app was built for an older version of Android and may not work properly on this phone. Try checking updates or contact the developer. I think I'll check for updates. I've been using this app on my Oppo A3s, and I've just upgraded from version um, from version 8.1 to version 9.0, which is a newer version of the Android uh, phones. That's not going to be a really big deal for us right now. So as you can see, this is SDF 3D. Voila, we've got it. I'm just going to activate my full screen display. Some people don't like it, especially if you've got some notch area display. So there we go. Might take a moment. Okay, I'm not going to check for updates right now. We're just going to dive right in. Now, when you've got this already updated, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the difference between this app and the simulated version that I'm using. So I'm currently running on my blue stacks and you will actually see it when I talk about the features in the next video. So on this app, we have all the functions already working, but I'll try to show you one of the features that you cannot find in your free version on the Android phone. And thus are, I'm just gonna select one face, go to the palette and select it to green, I prefer green. I had to, uh, I'm gonna select that color set it back into position and I'll try to colorize it and now let's see what happens well this is a an update actually I was expecting the colorizing function not to function here because I've not purchased the entire the new version I mean the uh, pro version of the SDF 3d app anyway what we're going to do now is to look at another function that I think is pro. Uh, yeah, it is the export function. So I'm just going to serve this little sphere and we'll try to export it in, in the SD, SDL feature. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go back to the gallery. I'll long press my, my project and I'll use this button to export it and you can see the STL function is the only one that's functioning so I'm just going to auto rotate to have that feature activated to have my OK button showing and so there is the export button there is PLY, 3DS and DAE, OBJ and OFF uh, options to export your model that are actually not really activated so I'll just try and export interestingly also that feature seems to be on the light version initially okay so the PLY 3DS DAE and OBJ OFF 
versions are actually off for now and uh, earlier on I, I I've, I've always just been exporting with SDL and they've actually not been uh, uh, featuring this exporting of PL, PLY and other formats on this app so I really have to try and establish which features are actually on the pro version of the app and also I'm going to solve one of the questions that was asked earlier which is on how to purchase the pro version of this df 3 d because I can actually not see it here okay let's activate symmetry and all these functions seem to be actually working as if we are on the pro version so I'm gonna duplicate duplicate this by copying and pasting right now I'm actually just going through a trial and error to see what's gonna work what's not gonna work what's pro what's not pro so I'm gonna move this circle a little bit this sphere rather I'll try to delete it let's see still functions so I think uh, having updated this software changes the pro version preferences but there is one thing that I'd like SDF3D to change or to correct and such are when you're working on the landscape which I prefer because when you're working on the landscape screen it's actually just like working in com on your computer but then it gives you a much better user interface experience than if you're working on this application on the on the uh, portrait view because as you can see I have to scroll over on this upper menu item and also have to scroll on this lower menu items to access the features that I want to work with that's not really a problem but for me I just want to see all the sides of what I'm modeling and also I prefer it looking better this way anyway that's not really the problem I'm talking about what I'd like SDF3D to work on is on how this menu functions work as you can see we have white black gray red and all of these colors are here and if I say select yellow on the bottom I want to select it and say OK but there is no OK button in order to access it I've got to rotate my phone back to portrait view and tap OK in order to access it. I think it's really pretty annoying uh, because I cannot access my OK button. I also thought I was just gonna have to look at uh, a tutorial in order to find where my OK button is. Anyway, I just hope that that feature is going to be to be corrected or to be advanced by them or to be improved for that matter. So I'm going to show you another thing that I'd like SDF3D to work on and that is the export function maybe they might want to work on STL, PLY and other exporting formats that we can have for 3D models but that's not really a big matter for me because Blender can actually import the STL format of the application of the models that you have generated with your uh, SDF 3D but then again I have to rotate it back to position and then the menu actually disappears so I have to rotate it back to portrait view in order to access the export button which does not appear if I rotate it back to landscape view so that's yet one more thing that I'd like SDF3D to improve on this software there we go so having not found what to purchase I'll just go back to play so and I will look for SDF3D again and see what features are to be purchased so I'll just go to what's new so, so they say yes it, it, it features a standard tool set of modeling functions in high resolution export 3d printers for 3d printers that is STL format as the F uses uh, the soft edge modeling technique which is memory efficient and adapted to mobile devices respecting their memory and CPU limitations so they're saying that soon SDF will offer some advanced premium features available via in-app purchases such as synchronous mirror, precision tools, advanced native export, OBJ, etc. 
a professional tool set, color format to export 3DS, support for multiple objects or regions, coloring, advanced start objects such as con, torus, large sphere, and etc. Well, actually, I can see here is that some of these fun functions are already in the in the light version or in the free version of SDF 3D. For instance, uh, the uh, I've seen the, the torus, I've seen the coloring, and I've seen those advanced start objects such as the, cor the torus on the SDF 3D applications before I even purchased the pro version on my previous phone. And uh, support for multiple objects, I have also seen it actually. You will realize on the video where I modeled a uh, Kenyan bus, I actually had various regions on my user interface on my viewport and they were all just floating in the viewport so that is also still for me not an in-app purchase i think uh, synchronous mirror might be one of the features that we will find so i'm just gonna go back to sdf 3d and see if we can actually mirror these objects that we've got here well for me i have never used the mirror function so maybe it it will be the so still it doesn't look okay so I think with regards to this we have all the functions working unless there is one that they will introduce much later and we have to purchase now to answer the question that was asked by Toha uh, Ramadan when he asked me to show you how to purchase the in-app fu uh, purchase functions that are on SDF 3D I will just say that if a function is not working on your phone just because it is an in-app purchase, what you have got to do is to just tap on it. For instance, when I I wanted to activate my colorize function, although it works on this one, I just uh, you know activated the first. I selected, I highlighted the first that I wanted to colorize, and when I tapped colorize, it didn't colorize as it has right now, as you can see. What happened was was uh, I, I selected colorize. And there was a pop-up on the middle of the screen somewhere around here where it said the function that you want to use right now is an in-app purchase feature although not in the exact words but then and, and then it also had a button at the bottom where it indicated purchase this app or cancel and i just selected purchase so when i selected purchase it took me to my google billing service and I do not know what, which which money transfer service you're using in your country, but I think Google Billing Service will actually help you with that, because it has options that are locally within your country, and you can you can you can select that purchase this feature, and then when you purchase that feature, it will be downloaded to your phone immediately, and then you can activate it and use it, and bam, it will work on your phone. Also, another good thing about in-app purchases is that. You can, if, if you do not like that in-app purchase, you can actually go back to your SDF 3D app or any application on Google Play, Play Store and restore purchase and your money will be refunded back to where, uh, back through the uh, same format or same service that you use to transfer that money. So that's how to purchase your in-app, uh, the in-app purchases functions or the pro functions or the pro features of your application. I'm going to try and see if actually there is one feature that we can purchase right now so I'll just use the pick color function and see if it's gonna work okay there we go it actually hasn't picked a color I'm just gonna colorize other faces and see what's gonna happen so I'll just color this faces I'll color them yellow again we auto rotate to portrait select OK and so let's see what happens i'll colorize them now you can see that all of them have been colored in yellow i'll select one face oh yeah so pick color okay actually the pick color function has works in a weird way some of these things are okay. I'll say pick color here, and I will go to colorize. 
Okay, I'll pick that color. I'll select another face and colorize. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that function still works because it has not um, instructed us or taken us to the purchasing the pro version spl uh, splash screen. I'll try to select symmetry and see what happens. Actually, still it remains the same. So all functions work. But like I said earlier, if there is any feature that they're going to introduce that requires you to purchase, you'll actually encounter it within your app and you will see the splash screen with the options requesting you to respond by either purchasing the feature or cancelling the purchase and then it will take it to your billing surface uh, i mean your billing service wow that was a really nasty <laughs> pronunciation of service so it will take it to your billing service the one that you use locally and also maybe internationally and if you're a kenyan you like you use a uh, m-pesa or you can use international billing services from whichever other country that you might be in and that's basically how to make your in-app purchases thank you very much for watching this video it's lasted entirely 21 minutes and i never expected it to be this long but thank you very much for watching all the way to the end if you like this video and the other videos that you have had a look at on razaki 3d please make sure to subscribe like share and comment if you've got a question to ask and uh, we will meet on the next video where I will be illustrating all the features of SDF 3D. We're going to go through the left menu rack and we're going to go over the right hand side menu rack. We will also talk about this little sphere that you see there and we'll talk about the color palette although we've mentioned it in this video. And in the next one after that we're going to finalize with the features such as uh, sh in the shape function which are extrude intrude subdivide bevel bump split and actually learn to model detailed items with your sdf 3d application like i did with those very interesting steps you will see on the suggested video on the right hand corner of your screen thank you very much for watching rosaki 3d until next time ciao